I'm Nick Rummel with Caterpillar Preventive Maintenance. We're at the back of this 246 skid steer in the engine compartment to talk a little bit about belts and hoses and cooling system. Now, the belt is accessed behind this cover. Now, the reason for the cover is, is we don't want that belt out in the way where someone can get their hand in it or it can cause damage to any other pieces. But in order to inspect this belt, we'd need to take this cover off. Something you should do probably every time you perform maintenance on this machine. While we're back here though on a daily inspection, we want to make sure that we look at all the belts and hoses, uh, especially any place where the hoses are joined together or any place where two hoses meet that could actually cause a rub. You want to make sure you look in all, all the places, especially down near the exhaust manifold and the turbocharger. Those hoses, if they would come loose, would actually rupture due to the heat. Now, on a skid steer, this is our cooling system up here. Not only is it the hydraulic cooling system, but it's also the engine cooling system run with a hydraulic fan. It's also a good idea from the bottom side to look up and make sure that we don't have a lot of debris within our radiator and our uh, cooling system for the hydraulics. We always want to look at our fan blade, make sure that our fan blade is all intact. We don't have any cracks or breaks in the fan blade. And then after we close this, we'll look at it from the top as well. I'm going to pull this pin. We'll lift this cover up. And again, we want to check this surface and make sure that it is clean from any debris and that we aren't getting dirt packed in here. Maybe we've been running in some uh, wet conditions or wet material. We could get, easily get some debris packed in here. Another thing that we want to look at every day before we start the machine is this uh, sight glass up here at the top. This gives us an indication that the radiator is full. Since the radiator is higher than the rest of the engine and the cooling system, this could develop an air pocket. We need to make sure that, that sight glass has antifreeze in it. And if it doesn't, we've got a fill over here on this side. But we don't want to put too much in. We want to make sure that our coolant tank has just the right amount in it. For more information, you can contact your local cat dealer or also consult the operation and maintenance manual behind the seat of this tractor.